So when I do a smog, I plug in my tool and I have to go here to check monitors. It's gonna load up the screen. It's gonna tell me how many monitors are done and how many are finished or how many are not ready to go. It's got plugged in right now. We're just waiting for it to start. Monitor is complete. Zero run, so I'm okay, I'm okay. And then these are the monitors. You need to check for the read DSC pending codes, read permanent codes, check your monitors, and then you need to check these. These are all the monitors that need to be ready when you do a smog check. So all these monitors are here. And this one's ready for smog. First things first is the technician is gonna log into the screen, so I'm gonna log in first. This is what it's gonna look like. Getting back to the screen, what you need to do is the technician is gonna scan the VIN number. You need to verify the VIN number. Two places normally is gonna be right here on the window or in the doorway. So we're gonna scan this one. It's a Honda Civic. And this is the basically the barcode number that we scan when we do the smocks. So we're going to scan. Next is the license plate. So we match the license plate up. Next, I'm going to verify the emissions. I got to look here on this label. See if anything that says for California. If it's not, it's a federal vehicle. But then again, it's coming to California, so then I can put California. So that's okay. And then make sure the information is correct. And it's a government or fleet vehicle. No, it's not. And then it's directed. Hit OK. Since we'll start certified, I can go through that. Certificate type is going to be a California certificate. And then the test group number, that is actually going to be located here now. So that number right here, HHNXV01. HHNXV01. And you just want to verify all this information. The technician will go there and say, it's on a civic, it's on a night, it's on a vehicle, and all that stuff right there, and continue. Next that comes up on the smog report is if there's any type of recalls, it'll come up here at this report and it will print it out for you. Next you want to say, you want to check the OB2 smoke test and everything, visual inspection after commercial parts. So now I've got to plug in my machine. This is the OB2 cable and it's going to plug right into the vehicle. This cable into the OBD and it's going to be in the bottom, way up there. My hand is stuck. Alright. Gonna hit OK. Next, we want to make sure the vehicle is off, make sure the light is illuminated. Go to the vehicle. Turn the key off. Make sure the vehicle is off. Turn the key on. Make sure that check engine light over here in the corner turns on, which is right there. It's going to ask me if the light illuminated. For the check engine light, I hit yes, and then we're going to start the vehicle. Start up the vehicle. Here we go. The light is off right now, currently. So no check engine light is on. That's oh, yes, it is off now. What the smog technician is going to do now, they're going to verify these right here. Three-way cat, air fuel ratio sensor, EGR2 sensor, EGR, and sequential fuel injection. EGR is right here, cat's right here. It's got the O2 sensor, it's off the bottom. Looking for any leaks in the hoses or anything. Back here, I double check that. Checking to make sure that's okay. That can tell you during the smog. Check here, check here. Nothing leaking, nothing leaking. Go through. I'm gonna crawl under the car real quick and see if there's anything else under here. Good to go there. Open up the door, push the gas tank. We only check the gas tank if it's there for the fuel tank uh, cap. So that's right there, so that's good, close it up, good to go. Now as you wait for this, it's gonna start loading and giving the information from the vehicle. This is where you sit there and you think the technician is doing something. They're really just sitting there and looking at the vehicle. Da -na -na -na. Now it's going to ask me to disconnect the vehicle, it's 100%. Okay, so... Okay, and then... I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the vehicle. I'm going to rev it two times just to make sure there's no smoke coming off of that. Okay, get to the car there. Disconnect. And... Put it back on. Now everything I just did with the smoke check, I did that with the two step on the back. That one passed. Can't get the noise. Didn't see anything there leaking or smoke, so I passed that one. And then fuel liquid check, I passed that one. I didn't see anything going on there. Next, 
so cranky as missions that thumb pass, e that pass. Did some crash from anything in the hoses or anything? Health reverse on a top path, e jar pass, no turbo charger, so that's not applicable. Fuel metering system, that was a pass. Air injection, no air pump or, or air injection system for that. All the wiring looks good. The vacuum line is nothing broken or disconnected, and the comp other components are being passed. So that is basically the smog check in a nutshell. Continue. Does it have any aftermarket emissions components? And uh, this one's gonna be a no because there's nothing in there like intake or anything with a carb or um, an EO number on there. So that one's gonna be a no. And nothing was repaired on this beforehand. So if they had a repair or something at a shop, they would put yes. Type in their information and then I'll be sent to the board. So no. And then do you wish to issue a certificate? And bam, so pass and pass. And that is a small check in a nutshell. Thank you so much for watching.